Hello, I'm Sam Stovall, Managing Director, U.S. Equity Strategy. In this week's Sector Watch, found on www.getmarketscope.com, I showed that bond investors have been better off buying than bailing after declines of greater than 5%. During the next round of rate increases, investors appear to be fairly confident that equity prices will hold up, theorizing that an improving economy will likely lead to an increase in corporate profits, which should help support, if not boost, share prices. In addition, they point to 2004 and 1994 when the S&P 500 recorded a peak to trough price decline of less than 9% after the Fed started to tighten rates. But what of bond investors? Is it time for them to bail? Maybe not, if history serves as a guide, for it's never gospel. Surprisingly, the magnitude and frequency of substantial bond market declines has been relatively low, even when the Fed was actively reining in short-term rates, as there were only 16 times since 1986 that the total return of the Barclays aggregate declined by more than 5%. It experienced declines of 5 to 10 percent on 10 occasions and between 10 and 15 percent six times, but it never fell by 15 percent or more. Indeed, the deepest decline took place during 1987 when it fell 14 percent. What's more, bonds recovered all that they lost following declines of greater than 10 percent in an average of nine months. Finally, on an annual basis, the Barclays Ag fell only three times since 1976 and posted its deepest full-year total return decline of less than 3% in 1994. I'm Sam Stovall, and I'll talk with you again next week.